Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at linear patterns, uh, how to actually make the patterns from a, well, how to make the equation for the patterns from a pictures, and also solving some of the questions um, uh, regarding these patterns. Okay, so a classic example that you're gonna uh, that you're gonna see is like um, one of this. So design number one could have like three matchsticks like this. Design number two is gonna have two more matchsticks added. Design number three has got another two more and it just keeps on going. Now, if I was to actually make this as a pattern, uh, sorry, a table, then this is what it's going to be. So pattern number one, which has three sticks, pattern number two has five sticks, pattern number three has seven and so on. So I guess the question is that, is there a, a way in which I could actually figure out um, a general formula? So for example, say if pattern number n, what would the number of sticks be? And what I'm really looking for is a formula, a generalized formula. So the way to do this is, first thing is, have a look at your number of sticks, how much it's actually increasing by. What you should be able to see is that each of these numbers are actually increasing by two. All right. And so we could actually say that uh, number of sticks is going to be, it's increasing by two. The other thing that's worth noting is, um, and I think this is, I'm going to show you guys how to do this with the equation of line later on in the video series, but with patterns, I'm going to show you how to do it in a kind of a shortcut method. So what you got to do is you got to figure out, uh, I know pattern number zero doesn't exist. Okay, pattern number zero doesn't actually exist. But what we can do is we can actually, if we just look at the pattern of numbers that's happening here, so you got 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3. So the number before it, um, it's got to be 1. The reason it's 1 is because we know 1 plus 2 equals to 3. So then what we do is we actually write this general equation as uh, 2, which is this 2 here, 2 multiplied by n plus the 1 that we had um, right at the top when it was equal to 0. All right. Now this looks very similar to y equals mx plus c, and I will talk about this in the, in I think in a couple of slides, a couple of videos from now. But basically, this is how you come up with um, the number of sticks for the nth pattern. So we have two n plus one. And likewise, guys, if the pattern is decreasing, then it'll become minus, and that's basically the gist of it. All right, but you always got to go backwards to figure out what the number of uh, whatever the number is going to be for zero, uh, especially I'm looking at here. So you know how it's zero, you got to figure out what that number is going to be. And that number is going to be ending up here as the uh, final bit. Now, this is very similar to some of you might have been used to y equals to mx plus c. And if you're not sure about this, don't worry, guys, I'll show you later. But c is when x is equal to C is when x equals to 0, and m, of course, is this value here, whatever it's increasing by. Okay, so what happens when we actually put this in a graph? Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got a, a graph, I mean, a Cartesian plane here, and I've got um, the number of the pattern and the number of sticks. So I guess the first thing is like, I mean, you notice how it's x and y. So instead of x here, I'm going to replace this with n. Or I could just call it um, pattern number. All right. And instead of y here on this side, I'm just going to replace this with number of sticks as the y-axis. So my first point is when pattern number one, it's, it requires three sticks. So that's that point. When it's pattern number two, I require five sticks. Pattern number three requires seven. Pattern number four requires nine. Now, I don't actually have enough room to actually do uh, pattern number five to 11, to 11 sticks. As you can see, the, I don't actually have the grid here. Some people have this habit of doing this. When they see something like this, when they see the dots, their instinct is almost to do this, to actually draw a line like that. And if you draw this as a line, guys, you're actually incorrect because by drawing the line you're actually saying that this is a continuous set of data but it's not it's discrete 
And for those of you that don't know what discrete or continuous, discrete is like, see in this case, you can't actually have pattern 1.5. Nor can you use like, for example, if I look at, um, say if I'm looking at 1.5 pattern, 1. Point, okay, maybe not 1.5, let's say 1.25. 1.25 pattern is here. Which means you're going to need like something like 3. Um, 5. I don't know, it could be 3.5 or 3.25 uh, sticks. It really doesn't make sense, does it? So that's why you have to be careful of when you draw the line and when you don't. So in this case, I wouldn't actually draw the line. I would actually just leave it as, as these little points. And this is called discrete points. Okay, so we've got the equation and then we've got... Um, the graph. Now we go to some of the questions that could they could potentially ask. So this question is how many sticks would be needed for the 25th pattern? All right. Now we actually had the equation as 2n plus 1 as the general equation for the number of sticks. So if we want to figure out the number of sticks, so we could actually say uh, number of sticks equals 2n plus 1. Now we're asked for the 25th pattern. So we have to substitute 25 as n, n plus 1. So in this case, you're going to get 50 plus 1. So for the 25th pattern, you're going to require 51 sticks. Okay, so let's look at the next type of question. They could ask, which pattern would have 93 sticks? Okay, so this time, we have the number of sticks. So the number of sticks equals 93. But we're looking for... Uh, which now nth pattern is going to be. So we write this as 93 equals 2n plus 1. And now it's just a matter of re rearranging, guys. So we have minus 1, minus 1, take away from both sides, and we end up with 92 equals 2n, and then divide by 2, and divide by 2 on the other side, and what you end up with is 46 equals n. So we can say that the 46th pattern has 93 sticks in it. And that's basically it for linear patterns, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching.